Heavenly Awakening, good afternoon and good night to the beautiful entity watching this video. It's your boy Divine Messenger. We're about another message to understand. Before we can get into this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more divine messages. And on top of that, we have a great <clears throat> we have a great perspective today from I die am die I die am die consciousness two two two. I don't know what kind of name that is, but it is what it is. And we're actually gonna get straight into this as a matter of fact. Because I love perspectives. Everything in life is a perspective through a perception. So this being said, the title God, lowercase God, by the way, came from the Anunnaki. For one, that doesn't make any sense to me, but I'm gonna make it make sense to me. So you basically said the title, the title, God, so meaning yourself. So a title placed upon your subconscious mind, lowercase God, which is you and I, came from the, the fallen angels of our mother and our father. For one, you're not wrong for saying that, but two, that, that makes no sense because for one, we are that title called God. But the only thing is, though, to switch up our consciousness, they made sure to make man-made concepts like English. So therefore, calling God a title is a mockery placed upon your higher self. Meaning that, for one, God is consciousness. So God is everything and all-knowing and nothing and anything and everything and something. Two, if you are calling God a title, you're mocking our creator by giving it a name. Our creator has no name. Why? Our creator is every name and no name at all. Meaning, and I'm going to keep on saying this, if we transcend into the afterlife, for one, if you are the reflection of God, therefore, our titles come from a human concept or human comprehension because we are attached to deities or our perception of a deity, which is ourself. Meaning that beings or entities came up with the title of God to limit the God within us. So for example, we are all supposed to be calling ourselves, hey, God the new God, God the new goddess. That's how we should be talking, but instead we have, hey, Shirley, good afternoon. Hey, Aunt Rosa, good afternoon. Hey, Bill, good afternoon. It's like we're giving each other names that don't make any sense to Almighty Creator. But the thing is, our Almighty is a silent observer. So our Creator is observing itself through our perception or our human vessels. So the Anunnaki, these giants these nephilim these fallen angels these fallen angels the watchers all these different enlightenments of higher consciousness did not come up with the title god why because they are god they didn't have to come up with the title god we named them god because we knew they weren't from here so when they came from nibiru and when they decided to slay the Gigi or the gigi whatever you want to call you and i whenever they decided to slave these lower deities or these lower consciousness after they spliced their dna and made them a perception of human vessels or whatever the case may be they made them to where they had to mine gold for these higher realms of consciousness so that they can get to their other realms of consciousness that's exactly why the 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 flood came about all them different stories that achahasis all these different titles that came from tablets and sumerian like uniform hieroglyphs all these different dead sea scrolls all these different ancient teachings they come from consciousness or thoughts so almighty god is a thought upon your mind so when you're calling god that you're talking about yourself so for example if you say i love god you're talking about yourself if you say man i love heaven Almighty God lives in heaven. Yeah, your higher self lives in heaven. You can say whatever you want about God, but the thing is though, God is everything and nothing. So if, you, if you're trying to make God make sense out of something, you're making sense out of nothing because God does not make any sense. It's a cliffhanger for a reason. That's exactly why if you jump off that cliff, you will be caught by the higher perspective of God. So therefore, God is literally as above, so below, meaning God is Satan. Satan is God as well. So therefore, Satan's ego came up with God as well. So by you saying lowercase God, you're talking about satan through that ego or that perception but satan is not wrong for calling itself god as well because we are that entity in a subconscious aspect or a human comprehension aspect as well therefore the anunnaki they were nothing but descended ascended masters and they knew what they were doing because who do you think or what actually not even who because god god is in a who or a what but what realm of consciousness do you think gave the anunnaki or the fallen angels literally us what do you what consciousness do you think gave the anunnaki that agenda nobody because you would say free will but i don't believe in free will but choices so these higher entities they came from different realms and they descended their timeline bent their space and time and continuum and they continue to travel to the speed of light to land at this stage of existence because they knew what was going to happen before it even happened Meaning that there's a whole divine story about the Anunnaki before Earth was even a thing in this realm. Meaning that these are nothing but angels that are literally demons. So angels are demons, demons are angels, contradict everything, question everything. So the Anunnaki already had an agenda. They already had a predetermined script to script out our whole entire existence because they knew. For one, the warfare over our mind is literally about us. Like our, we are in, for, for one, we're on the fence. 
on who to believe in or what to believe in because we don't know how to believe in ourselves. If you believe in yourself, then you understand that you are actually God within yourself. Once you go within, you gotta understand that God is a title placed upon your conscious and subconscious mind. So what is God if you are God? I say ye are God's all of you. Therefore, that's why you say I am that I am because if you walk around calling yourself God, you can literally get killed in this dimension now because they don't want you to go around spreading truth. They don't want you to do that because if you go around spreading truth and you help people become enlightened beyond enlight enlightenment, then people will transcend the hierarchy or the illuminating fraternity or the sororities of shapeshifters or fallen angels or Nephilim that are pretending to be Jewish, African, European, all these different skin colors or ethnicities, they come from higher enlightenments. Therefore, we came up with the title of God. So therefore, many people who were awakened way back in BC, AD, all of that, they were doing plants, they were smoking weed, like, I ain't gonna say smoking weed, but they were doing LSD, acid, shrooms, they were all, all this type of stuff anyway because they had nothing but time, literally. So by them being awakened, they were like, once they were able to consume these different cheat codes, because I call them cheat codes, because if you're awakened, if you're thinking beyond the human comprehension, something in this world gave, or this dimension gave you those cheat codes to understand what God really is because you are that deity. And they knew that. So once these the 12 disciples of Christ or the Illuminati, once they came up in, in existence and they decided to coexist with each other and come together so the Council of Nicaea, Satanists, all these different fraternities or Skull and Bone Society, all these different societies, behind closed doors in these occultists, they came together when we weren't even, when we, what's crazy, we weren't even unified back then. So as we were, actually some of us were, but some of us weren't. When these different occultists came together, they made sure that However, whoever's awakened, they can come together and put their thoughts together to make sure that whatever they do will stain their lineage and their bloodline and legacy beyond centuries, beyond the timeline. Therefore, we gave God or Satan's ego enlightenment. We gave Lucifer that light. We gave these people our energy or these beings our energy and they harvest it every single day. Therefore, the title God has enslaved humanity. So by you believing in God, what is God is saying calls himself that as well. So by you believing in God, you are har you're getting your soul harvested by that consciousness. Therefore, the title of God limits your belief system because you are God. God does not have to say that I am God because we know I am that I am, literally. So if God was, so, so just like, with, like Moses in the burning bush, I am that I am. Tell the people, when you go back down, tell the people that I am that I am sent you and you spread the word or whatever the case may be because they couldn't comprehend what God was. Not knowing that Abraham, Moses, Samuel, David, they were all God just like you. So you are that title placed upon your conscious mind. So once you transcend the subconscious thoughts or your ego, then you understand that you don't have to walk around saying that you're God. People can look at you and stare at you and they see that, wow, that's what God looks like through your perception because every day you wake up, you are literally living through God's perception and almighty God's thoughts and and you call it reality but the whole entire time you were never existing in the first place so the Anunnaki don't even exist first of all because you are a fallen angel from your mother and your father so you are a thought in almighty God's thoughts so therefore what are you thinking about God I love you have a great day God and goddess